It's huge! It's coming this way! Um, okay. I'm entering the emergency shutdown code. Professor, what happens next? Professor, can you hear me? What happens next? Professor, are you still with me? Use the control panel. Start emergency shutdown, Delta One. Oh, we have to seal off this entire complex. Only then can we reverse the luminosity charge <coughs> and contain the rift. What can we do? How can we stop this? I should have listened to him. I shouldn't have opened Pandora's box. Uh -oh. We've got to close it down. Close down the portal. Uh, here, take my gun. Or shoot whatever comes through that window. What? What can't be happening? No. This can't be happening. Uh, it's impossible. <clears throat> what was that? That was some kind of monster. But it was like nothing I've ever seen before. My god, Professor, you've been bitten. Are you okay? <laughs> Professor, look out! I'm sorry, we're going to have to cut this interview short. If you could make your way to the emergency exit, the armed security forces will make sure you're safe. What was that noise? That wasn't a machine. It sounded like an animal. This can't be happening. We don't have enough energy for these readouts to be correct. This is a major warning to everyone on site. We are experiencing multiple breaches across the Collider. Activating emergency procedures, attempting fail-safe shutdown. What's happened? What's wrong? Safe procedures for just such an event. After all, this is why we have these kinds of test runs in the first place. No, not again. Okay, if you'll look at this graph, you'll notice that safety clamp lock in place. Temperature falling in line with checks. Begin phase three testing. All staff, please be aware. Phase three testing procedure now in activation. Yes, we're still a few months away from a point where we can analyze the data, but if you look at these monitors and cameras, you'll begin to get an idea of the types of things we hope might happen. I'll try to walk you through them as best I can. So, I understand we're just in time for one of your early test runs? I can guarantee you that these are just the standard scare stories that are talked about whenever any new field of science is breached. I'm afraid their main goal is just to sell a few more newspapers. But there are dangers. There's been talk in the media of micro black holes or strangelets being created in the process, which in turn could create a doomsday scenario, ultimately destroying the planet. Some more extremist views even suggest portals to other dimensions could be opened, or that the very fabric of time itself might begin to unravel. Yes. Like all particle accelerators, we'll be using electric fields to propel and collide electrically charged particles at incredibly high speeds. However, nobody has ever attempted it on this type of scale before. By doing so, we're hoping to discover new particles and interactions which could radically change our entire view of science. Who knows what future breakthroughs it could lead to? Indeed. If we're to believe your current reports, you're hoping to soon discover the very building blocks of our universe. 
Of course. This is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, which so far has cost around $15 billion in total. However, that money will have been spent well if the project is as successful as everyone hopes it will be. I'm currently talking to Professor George White, 700 feet underground within this top secret location, here to witness one of humanity's greatest ever engineering feats. Professor, would you like to tell us a little bit more about all the amazing machinery that currently surrounds us? Cornucopia Radio presents 